Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been almost a month since I sat down to film a video and to be honest, I just really have not been in the right state of mind to do that and I figured I'm gonna sit down and just do it. I'm gonna film a video, I lit a candle, I'm in zen mood and I just wanted to play with makeup because Lord knows I have not worn makeup in a really long time. It's been a pretty crappy month so far, actually this whole year. We could just throw this entire year in the trash. I've been really trying to look on the bright side of things and just hang in there. I'm sure you guys all know what's going on, honestly. And if you don't, I'm very concerned for you. Anyways, off of that negative note, let's jump into some positivity and happy and fun and makeup and let's just play i'm gonna be trying out a bunch of new products out which i'm very excited about like i said i haven't worn makeup in a really long time so i'm excited to put some makeup on this face and this face i don't know why but i have been breaking out like i am a teenager all over again with all that said let's just jump into putting some makeup on the face all right so let's start off with primer first and this is the tatcha the liquid silk canvas if you guys are familiar with the original silk canvas it's like the circle it's like a thick kind of pasty cream that you apply all over your face and it's supposed to smooth out your pores and all that jazz this is like a liquid primer version of that and i think it's like a little bit different i feel like it's probably not going to fill in the pores as much as like the putty one because it's a lot thicker but this might be a really nice just kind of lightweight primer for every day we won't know until we try it so i'm going to put it on my face with a little brush i'm going to focus this mostly like in my t-zone because my texture and the pores have been out of control actually recently it feels very nice it doesn't feel greasy but i definitely feel like this moisture quality in my skin but it does seem to be like kind of soaking up pretty quickly i really like it it's really soft i wouldn't say that it really did anything for my pores i still definitely see my pores but my skin just looks a little looks a little more plump hello let's jump into foundation so i want to try the estee lauder futurist hydra rescue moisturizing makeup it has spf 45 and i have the lighted shade 1 and 0 porcelain i picked up this foundation not too long ago to test out and i got the second to lightest shade and it was so horrible so pink and dark on me which Crazy. I don't know. So their color selection is really weird, at least in store. I don't know if they have more colors online, but I picked up the lightest shade and I really hope it matches, but I'm not leaving the house. So I went ahead and I wet some of the new ColourPop sponges. This one is the detail sponge and I really like the shape. Low key kind of reminds me of the Dose of Colors one, which I really, really love the shape of. And then this is the complexion. I think for my foundation, they use this one. I really like it. It's really soft and squishy. Like, I don't really have any complaints with this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the foundation kind of on my face first and then blend it out with this. Because I feel like when I do that, it kind of soaks it up too quickly. I just pumped a little bit on my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe All Over Complexion Perfection Brush and Conceal Brush. I absolutely love these. What is that? I have like... I don't know, six of them, they're amazing. So I'm gonna dot this all over. That color looks pretty good. All right, hopefully it doesn't oxidize into like an orange pink mess. And you might be asking yourself, orange pink Jess? It can't be both, trust me. It is both sometimes. Depends on the lighting. Sometimes my face looks like pinky purple overall. In other lightings, it looks like an orange cast. I don't know, don't ask me, my face is weird. But I'm just gonna, yeah, I think it definitely does oxidize a little. It is strongly scented. Okay, I'm gonna go into my sponge and just press this into the skin. It doesn't seem to have very full coverage so far. I have to say it looks really pretty on the skin. Like, I have like this like dewy, natural, glowy skin. It is very scented, I will tell you that. Like, I don't care if you're a luxury brand. Putting smells in your product doesn't make it more luxurious. It makes it more nauseating. I'm gonna go in and just layer it one more time see what kind of coverage we can get out of it but this isn't super bad my skin is just terrible and i have a lot of breakouts and redness and scarring i am going to go in with one more layer so based off the lighting i have right now kind of like my ring light and my giant window it looks okay it does look a little bit like a pinky shade at least for my neck because i have a lot of green in my skin because you remember kermit is my dad so it doesn't look terrible though I think once we do the rest of the face, we'll see what it looks like. But I think it might look fine. For my concealer, I kind of want to revisit this because I think the first time I tried this, I 
was kind of unsure about it and I was like you know what since we're going for like a really hydrating luminous thing I thought I would use this again it's the Ilia true skin serum concealer and I have the shade chicory so this is what I'm gonna use today see the color of this concealer is the color I would like my foundation to be it almost looks like it has like this green green tone with a little bit of warmth I mean it is definitely not matching the foundation color so hopefully I don't look weird once I blend this out. I'm gonna take a risk and do some spot concealing with this concealer as well. I don't remember it being the most full coverage concealer. I'm gonna go back to my ColourPop Detail Sponge. My lighting just keeps changing because of the clouds, the sun, whatever. But anyways, in other news, ColourPop has closed down temporarily, which is actually so crazy. Like, ColourPop has closed down. I just had a few pesky blemishes that are not getting covered, so I'm just going in with the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer just because it has a little bit more coverage and I'm just going to very lightly tap it onto the more problematic areas. The Ilia Concealer is actually not bad. It definitely goes with that whole like luminous dewy thing but it is creasing up a storm under my eyes. I am going to set everything with a powder but yeah, it's already creasing like crazy. So before we set the face with powder, I want to kind of revisit the M Cosmetics Liquid Blushes. This is in Pink Nectar. I haven't tried this specific color out, but I don't know. These are really lovely, and they make your skin look so youthful. Like, it's gorgeous. So I kind of want to try this out again. I figured, you know, with the whole do it. I already talked about what I'm doing to my face a hundred times. I'm just going to take the brush I used for my primer, and I'm just going to place a little bit on that. And just tap that onto the cheek. At first, it's really intimidating, and you're just like, oh, that's great. But wait, I'm gonna go into the complexion sponge by ColourPop, and I'm just going to press this into my skin. This is definitely a brighter version of these liquid blushes I tried. The one I tried is like a really neutral, beautiful color. Definitely like a just shade. Ooh. Wow, this is a lot more pink, but once I kind of put on my powder and everything else, it'll kind of mesh, but really pretty. Doesn't do anything weird to your foundation. It just looks very like youthful and glowy. It's a lot of blush. I might do some faux freckles. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the bridge of my nose just to kind of bring in that like natural little flush. So many people have an issue with people doing faux freckles and I do not understand it. I think it's beautiful. I love freckles so much. I wish I had more freckles. I have like a few that obviously get covered up with makeup. My grandma is a natural redhead. She has freckles everywhere. My mom has freckles everywhere. So I don't understand why it's a problem. I mean, people change up their appearance with makeup all the time and their hair. If you have a problem with faux freckles, then you should have a problem with people dyeing their hair. I don't know. I'm gonna just blend out all the little creases underneath my eyes before I set it in. The skin looks actually really pretty. I wish I was that girl that didn't really set the makeup, but like this definitely feels like I need to set it like 100%. I'm gonna be using a brand new setting powder. This is from Kimchi Chic Beauty. It's a set and bake powder, Puff Puff Pass. This is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and it works wonder for oily or acne-prone skin with anti-aging and oil-absorbing properties. Rice powder is nor known, norn, <laughs> like what egg scent is that? Uh, <laughs> to absorb excess oil, which creates a smooth matte finish for your skin. So this is what we're gonna try. Oh my god, that is so freaking cute. The way it's like packaged in here, that's adorable. All the little things. So this is what it looks like. It looks huge and it's a white color, which I'm kind of nervous about. It comes with a little powder puff, which is adorable. So the texture of this doesn't feel like those really silky HD powders, which I personally don't really like. It feels like a normal loose setting powder. I'm gonna get some on the cap. That looks like powdered sugar. I will say the more I kind of blend out my under eyes, the concealer is just disappearing. Should I put more on? I don't know. Like I. I'm actually not really loving my complexion like overall. I see a lot of darkness under my eyes still and like a lot of my blemishes, but we're just rolling with it. We're gonna deal with it. I'm gonna take the powder on my little sponge here and I'm going to press it into my skin. I'm not gonna really bake. I'm just gonna press it until it disappears. Ooh. I hope you guys are all doing okay and your situation is okay. I know there's so many people who, besides the people who have gotten sick, but there are so many people who can't work, can't go to school, don't have anywhere to really live, and it's just 
heartbreaking. Like I cannot imagine. Oh, it stresses me out. I think about this every single day and it just really puts me in a really, really sad place and my heart just really breaks. It just really sucks what's going on right now and I just pray every day that it just, it's all over with soon. So the last video I posted on my channel, I actually filmed that on March 2nd, which was like the beginning of this month and it's been like well over like three weeks now and this was before like the lockdown, before things really, really got out of hand but I had already kind of come to terms that I was gonna cancel my bridal shower, which was like a week and a half or so away. Um, so yeah, that got canceled and I'm pretty certain 99.99% that the wedding is going to also be postponed, which very much sucks. But everything I kind of was looking forward to and just excited about and planning for 2020, I was like, this is gonna be the best year. I'm gonna get married and just go on my honeymoon and travel and do all of these things kind of just went like into the toilet, just got flushed down and it really, really sucks. Uh, it's very unfortunate. I know there's a lot of people dealing with similar situations and very different, even worse situations. That's why I'm trying to just remind myself that all that matters is your family, friends, health, and just keeping yourself safe and as happy as you possibly can and just grateful for everything that you already do have. But it's definitely been really difficult. I've gone on an emotional roller coaster. I've gone through ups and downs, and I sometimes I still have moments where I just get really deep into my thoughts, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm spiraling. So that's one of the reasons why I really haven't been able to sit down and play with makeup because it's hard to think about makeup when your brain is like, oh my god, the world's ending, kind of thing, you know? The world's not ending. I just wanted to tell you guys that I probably will have to wait another year, maybe more, for my wedding. Kind of really sucks, really broke my heart there. And if you are on a similar boat where you are going to get married this year or it's coming up really, really soon and you had to cancel or postpone it, I am so sorry. I feel you. It's so hard. And I know it's like this thing that a lot of people don't understand. They're like, okay, it's just like a wedding. Just go get married and like the court or something but it, that's not what it's about some people dream about having a wedding and it's not the same and you know everybody's different that's what's been going on here face is set it has been set i've just been talking a lot uh it doesn't look bad it definitely mattified it and i feel like because this is not a full coverage foundation on my skin i could still see a lot peeking through and i just feel like my skin looks messy i don't know why but the powder is actually really nice it's soft it definitely has like this whiteness to it like a white cast I don't know if it has flashback, but I definitely like, I have to really blend it into the skin so I have no leftover white powder, but it looks nice. It can definitely mattify the skin. It doesn't look weird and cakey, which is great. And I'm sure the more it sits on my skin, the more like natural it's gonna look. So let's move on to putting some color in this face. Also the blush kind of disappeared after I set my face. So yeah, but I don't think that's the blush's fault. I don't have any bronzer to try. So I'm just gonna take the Kylie Toasty bronzer and this Gigi Gorgeous contour brush. A lot of my brushes are dirty and I probably should take this time to wash them all. It's not like I have anything else to do. Speaking of not having anything else to do, literally I have been waking up, making breakfast, playing Animal Crossing, and then I get up, I do some cleaning, and then I will grab a snack, play some Animal Crossing. I will play with Mia and then grab another snack maybe play Animal Crossing, and then I'll just clean up a little bit more, play Animal Crossing, and then I will decide what I want to eat or cook for dinner, and then play more Animal Crossing, and then I watch some Jane the Virgin, and then I play more Animal Crossing. That's been my day. I don't know what Animal Crossing is. I've never played it before, but everybody started tweeting about it like a few days ago, and then my best friend was like, did you get it? And I was like, what what is it and she's like i don't know but i downloaded it on my switch and i've been playing it non-stop and i'm like should i get it i am kind of bored and i'm not really a video game type of person like i play world of warcraft sometimes even that i haven't really been doing much of but like video games i never really got into but then i downloaded it and it's been almost a week and wow i'm kind of addicted all right, bronzer is on. Didn't hate this brush with a bronzer, but I'm gonna use the same brush to go into blush, and I'm really excited. This is the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Cream Truffle Four Color Blush. This speaks to my soul. Of course, they have like a variety of these little quads of different blush tones, but this spoke to my soul. I love it all. Um, oh, mm, 
Oh my god, I want to eat this right now. This is not good because I don't really have good snacks anymore. It's making me hungry. I am just going to go into all three shades, just kind of blend them all together. Actually, I went into all four shades, so that's fine. And I'm going to tap this onto my cheeks. I'm really going overboard with the blush today. I'm gonna bring it on my nose because like I said, I'm gonna do some faux freckles. I just want to look healthy, fresh, and youthful today. Three things that I am not at all. For my highlighter, I have another Kimchi Chic Beauty product. This is called Drama Queen, the Unboring Highlight Palette, and I have not used this yet. This looks crazy cool. Look how pretty that is. They're so metallic. Now, this is interesting. I'm gonna swatch it. Definitely wouldn't really highlight with that shade, but you can definitely use it for your eyes. Why not? I am, however, going to go into this shade right here because that is a type of highlight I love. It's called Spread Like Butter. And we're going to see what this is all about. I'll put too much, but that's so pretty. Ooh, okay. All right. Not like super chunky and sparkly. It's just kind of like a really nice metallic pearly highlight and if you just blend it out enough and diffuse it just kind of softens it a little but it's so pretty i like that i am a fan i go ahead and do the other side i've been binge watching jane the virgin i'm almost done with season three and i think i stopped at season two a long time ago and just never really went back so i haven't really seen the rest of jane the virgin so i'm already at that place where i i haven't seen it anymore and oh my god things just really took a turn <laughs> not expecting that it's kind of just like a happy show. Of course, there's like a lot of drama in it, but like it makes me happy watching it. Like I could not imagine watching anything really hard hitting, dramatic or dark and deep right now. Like I feel like I have to just watch happy things. So that's been, that's been good. I've had that to watch. Um, I'm kind of contemplating getting Disney Plus so I can watch a bunch of Disney movies because I really just want to be a kid again. Let's get into some brows and freckles. So I'm gonna fill in my brows with my Joha, Joha uh, Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I really like this pencil a lot. Am I out of this one? Not yet, but almost. But this is a really, really good pencil. I actually had to sit down and groom my eyebrows before I sat down to film because you guys would get very scared with how my eyebrows looked. I hadn't really done anything to them in a while and when I tell you I have eyebrows, they literally grow until here and here. Uh, I have a lot of hair and my eyebrows grow within a day, not even like half a day and I already see my eyebrows growing back, which is great. I can thank my Persian teddy bear of a dad and actually my mom, my mom's Armenian and so is my dad, but my mom is virtually hairless. I didn't get her jeans. My dad's sister has like this thick curly head of hair like crazy big i got his side of the family for sure except the thick hair on my head my poor poor thin hair and i'm gonna go into the milk makeup haze brow gel to just lighten up the brow hairs a little bit the one thing i've been really worried about is running out of things that i need to get besides like food like just the other day i noticed that mia my dog she was kind of like gnawing on her hand and then i realized like we need to cut her nails because her nails are getting a little long so uh, we ordered a clipper on amazon to do it ourselves which i'm gonna literally crap my pants because i can't do things like that i'm gonna be so nervous but we have to because she is not liking how long they're getting and we need to take care of the baby for my faux freckles i've been using this and this is a lime crime sun kissed freckle pen this doesn't really exist anymore, which is unfortunate. I think it came out last summer, so it's kind of discontinued, but it's a really cool product and I like it because it gives you like a very natural freckle. It kind of has like a reddish tone to it and it's like a sheer product, so it doesn't look fake, if that makes any sense. But I'm kind of sad that it's discontinued. Every time I use it and everybody asks me like, what are you using? I feel really bad. So today I'm gonna use this and this is what I've been using for my like little faux moles when I have blemishes and stuff and I absolutely love it. This is the Makeup Forever Brow Liner in the shade 10. It's kind of like this taupey neutral tone. It looks like this. It's like a liquid eyeliner for your eyebrows, which I do not use it for my brows because that is not the look I'm going for. But I'm going to use this for my freckles. Now the key is this is a very pigmented product. So I'm going to do a few dots and then use my finger to kind of pick it up and disperse it and just kind of tone it down. So I'm going to do that really quickly and uh yeah oh gosh this is very dark this is not a natural freckle 
I decided that I do not want to use that for freckles because it is very artificial looking and a little too dark. Sorry, I'm gonna finish the rest off with this freckle pen and try to save this. It honestly looks like I just have a bunch of blackheads on my face right now. This didn't go as planned. Uh, I should have stuck to what I know. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can salvage this situation. For my eyes, I want to do something really minty, so I've pulled my mint products. I have my ColourPop Mint To Be palette that I have not yet even tried. I know, crazy, right? I have this Kimchi Chic Beauty Holographic Topper, and it has this beautiful color in here that we might use. I have this Lime Crime Lid Light in the shade Lily Pad that's really, really beautiful. It's kind of more like a sage green. And then I have one of these Huda Beauty Metallic and Matte Cream Shadow Situations in Dinero and Minted. So we're gonna play around and create something and do something. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna start off with the Huda Beauty Minted, the matte side, and I'm just going to use that as a base all over my eye. I'm just going to place some on my lid. Wow, that is bright. And I'm just gonna use a brush to quickly blend and diffuse this all over my lid. I want to make sure that I have like a really nice blend before it dries down. I've been actually really liking these a lot lately. I have more of like the brown taupey neutral colors that I just pop on my lids and then just blend it out like this and I'm pretty much done. Maybe I'll like top it with like something shimmery on the center but like these are really fun to use honestly. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Mint palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here and it's called Ice Cold. I'm using it on a blending brush and just kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. Have I ever done a mint eye? I do not think so. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade. It's called Get Fresh on like a fluffier mint brush. How cute. Oh my god, my ring too. This is an aesthetic. And I'm just going to use that to really blend the crease out nicely. This is a really pretty color. It's called Play It Cool. It's like this icy green. I think I'm gonna put that on my brow bone and see what happens. Hopefully it's not like too, too dark. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my God. That is really pretty. I think I'm just going full force right now. I'm also putting some on the inner corners of my eyes. It's a really buttery metallic shadow. It literally looks like it's almost fluorescent. So cool. I have these three options from the ColourPop palette to put all over my lid and I think I want to do, I think I want to do the lightest one just so it pops out a little bit more. The shadow is called Mojito Mommy and I'm just going to use my finger to just pop it on my lid. I think I'm definitely going to go in with like one of those sparkly toppers, but this is, I'm having fun with this. Yay. Now I get to rock a really cute look all day while playing Animal Crossing and cooking dinner. I'm going to take this shadow right here. It's called Freshman. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. This is a little bit more on like that sagey green metallic. I'm going to go a little bit into ice cold and kind of just stamp that on the outer part of my lower lash. So let's see what these are all about. This is the Kimchi Chic Beauty Halo Graphic Topper for eyes and cheek lip body toppers. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to just kind of use my finger and place that all. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but that like instantly made it look like this cool duochrome. I quite like that actually. So I'm just gonna swim in this I guess. The topper is super pretty. I definitely did get some fallout on my cheek. I think next time I'll just kind of like wet it a little bit but I think for my wing I want to try this ColourPop uh, liquid liner in the shade The Hills which is kind of like this green color. I don't know if it's gonna look good or show up at all, but I think I'm just gonna try, so be right back. I am back with the finished eye look, and I'm obsessed with it. I think that green eyeliner really just kind of pulled the look together. It's so pretty, especially in real life, the little topper, it just makes your eyes glow. It's so cool. I also lined my waterline with the Dose of Colors eyeliner pencil in Maybe Baby, which is like a nice little dark green color, and I'm wearing the Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced. Hello, can I talk? But oh my god, I love it. It looks so cute, especially with the freckles. I think it's adorable. Let's move on to the lips. I'm going to start off with a lip liner and I'm going to use this Melt Makeup All Day Everyday Lip Liner in Headbang, which is just kind of like a brownish tone. And then we'll see what we do from there. I'm going to take a little bit of the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Anniversary and I am just going to put a little bit on the center. 
Voila, we are finished. We are done with this look. I am very happy with it. I feel really cute. I hope I am photogenic today and I can get a cute picture. But I really like my makeup a lot. So let's kind of circle back and check out the complexion and see what's going on with that. I think now that the foundation has kind of settled onto my skin and the powder is not as powdery anymore, it's not my favorite uh, combo at least. I don't know. Like I have tried this foundation once before. It wasn't the right color, but I don't remember loving it. Um, I figured I would give it another try, but I think it's pretty. It's not heavy feeling or heavy looking. It's not creasing on my face at all, which is really nice. I think from like far away specifically, like my skin looks very pretty and flawless. I think it looks really nice. If I was just really nitpicking, I would say there's just certain parts of my face where it just looks a little bit like makeup-y or like dry. Uh, but overall, it looks really nice. My under eyes don't look that bad, but I still see a lot of my darkness peeking through. I don't think the Ilia concealer has a lot of coverage to it. It's definitely like in the name, like a serum concealer. It's kind of just lightweight, but it's pretty. It's not bad. Um, what happened with the color of the foundation? Let me stand in front of my window real quick. So the foundation has not darkened on my skin it actually is a right like level of lightness for me but the tone is too pink it definitely runs a lot more pink i can see in front of my window a very clear indication of like this cool pinkiness and then my warm olive tone kind of the difference i can see it it's not the worst thing in the world i can definitely get away with this foundation color so, you know, whatever. I, I'm already used to the fact that nothing really ever matches me perfectly. I think overall, I'm really happy with everything I've tried. The loose powder just threw me off a little because I'm not used to like a very powdery white powder, but it's not bad. It's not like heavy looking on my skin. Uh, you can always mist your face with something to kind of take away the powderiness, but I think overall everything looks pretty. I don't really have any nit nitpicky complaints. The Tatcha primer, I couldn't tell you really what it did. It felt really, really nice. And it's definitely something I can see myself using just to kind of plump the skin a little bit. But in terms of it making my pores poreless, I still see my pores, but you know, I have really deep ones. I really enjoy that highlight palette. It's really pretty. It's very glowy. It kind of settled down a little, so it's not as like sharp because I kind of added more blush and powder as I was doing like my freckles. But I can definitely go in with a little bit more, I think. I really enjoyed this blush palette as well. There's so many different colors and oh my, I don't really want to eat this so bad. Like I have been really into blush a lot lately and I really love that a lot. This was a really nice palette. I very much enjoyed it. I don't know how often I would be creating mint shadow looks. Like I don't know how often I would reach for this specific palette but you definitely have really interesting tones in here where you can add that with like a neutral eye for like an extra pop so you don't necessarily have to go this mint but it's a beautiful palette i very much enjoy like the metallic colors very creamy this was actually really cool too although i just used one color uh it's so beautiful it definitely transformed the look oh my god this color oh my god wow these are all really, 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 really pretty. I'm going to have to use these on another day. Oh my god. I almost put it on my eye. I don't know why. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for just being there, for being patient with me. I know I'm not posting a lot of content. I figured like this would give me a lot of downtime to film because I really have nothing else going on in my life. But it's actually been really hard to kind of pull myself to film. I don't know, it's just been like an up and down situation and I know a lot of people are feeling it. They're feeling the blues, cabin fever. It's not, it's not fun, but hang in there you guys, be strong and um, hopefully this will be over soon. But I just want to say thank you guys and with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it got your mind off of everything else going on in the world right now, even for the 20, 30 minutes it was. I hope you guys had a good time. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. I would appreciate it so very much. And also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and you don't miss out. I'll see you guys in my next video, whenever that is. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.